All right, traders, good morning. So we've got a little bit going on. Euro US dollar I sold yesterday. Uh, it was like evening. It was six o'clock ish or so. I um, mean, you can see the position there and that's now break even. So that's um, falling pretty nicely. Now, look, I don't normally do this, um, but I felt that it had a lot of potential. I guess I'm using subjectives here and I did take it. So at one point, uh, floating risk was six, uh, no, it was 5.8% because they risked 1.8% on the Euro US dollar trade. Um, just where the stock was, everything, I knew 0 0.2 was going to be very close. So 0 0.3 was going to be over. And I'm like, well, I'm already risking on USD yen. I'm already risking on the Aussie dollar. So I don't really want to go close to, it would have been over six. It would have been like six and a half percent. Um, USDN is still in play and the Aussie dollar has come back a little bit as well with some uh, US dollar strength still. And we'll look at what's going on here. So we talked about this in the podcast yesterday with the trend line on the weekly and it sort of has some, shown some signs of rejection here. Okay. So other trades now, PanCAD, I shouldn't do this. But I was so close to taking last night. I was embedded about 12.30. Um, it was just past midnight. What did I watch? I watched an hilarious video, a movie on Netflix, Bruce Willis. He was like a private detective in Venice. <laughs> oh, man, it was hilarious. And now also, okay, so it didn't. Oh, good. I like it when it does that because I was really close just to doing a market sell here. We'll see what happens now with this one. So that's, that's nice how I didn't do it. that. Because I'm like, I'm really tired. I shouldn't be doing this is what I said to myself. I'm like, yes, Scott, you're right. Well, we're just not going to do this. And I didn't. Now, I am actually, I talked about China. And I'm flying out on Sunday night. So I'm flying to Beijing on Sunday night. And we'll see what happens. I have a VPN secured. I'm, I'm running it now. So that's all under control. So I'll be able to access everything. Uh, and we'll see. I might not be able to post daily videos, um, but I will be still uploading on Instagram and everything. And uh, I'll try my best to like, I'm going to show you what it's like in Beijing. It's, I think it's about negative five right now. Hell, let's just, let's find out how cold it is in, um, in Beijing right now. Cold. But you know what, man? It's easier to warm up though than it is to cool down. Beijing weather. We're talking negative five. <laughs> okay, well. All right, there it is. Here's the weather report. I'm feeling all right. So this is not Forex related, but I just thought I'd just see and show everyone what I'm dealing with. So right now it's negative five. What's 8.30? So, and the max is going to be no okay so the the maximum is negative two okay uh one and two five on sunday so i'm flying in when it's okay so it's negative seven so on monday morning it's going to be four degrees is the max and negative six and cloudy and depressing now the main reason is it's tax free so it's 70 grand australian dollars for the year um, and it's tax free. So that's why I'm taking time off work. Trading really, if I really think about it, trading is probably my number one passion. But in order to sort of grow the account, I have to introduce more capital. And I'm really not about uh, risking lots. So I see this quite frequently with leverage and things. You'll see these individuals come in and then they will not last long because um, it's just, it's like running through a minefield. I'm talking an active minefield. So you might get a certain distance just out of pure luck, which is what it is. And then eventually, you know, you're going to blow up. So, um, and what it's really sad because they really should educate you a little bit better with leverage and things like that. And, um, other people would still do it. They would still, if you had to click through like these slides, even if you couldn't skip it, like let's say they had to do like a 30 minute PowerPoint on, how to risk manage, what's leverage, you know, how a professional would approach things. These individuals 
who are sadistic and love pain and are degenerates would probably that they, they would watch it and be like, oh, it's okay. So, you know, try what you would. Um, try, you know, it's just it's difficult. So yeah, pound cat. I am I am looking at this as a sell trade. So I can take this because I'm risk off on the euro, USDN. Not not quite yet. I had the bit of a wider stop on this. The stop would be at the 55, sort of around 1.7. One or so flat. Um, I want to show you the USDN and just give you a bit of context to you. Yeah, so it's um, as you can see, it's not really quite 86 pips, and it hasn't gone 86 pips from the entry because I got in at 40. When did I get in? 44, and now it's. I mean, it's that's no, not good enough. I mean, the peak the peak of it was uh, one eleven oh five. So one eleven oh five to forty to forty five. That's still that's sixty. So I'm risking eighty. It's still reckless for me to move the stop to break even. We've gone over the Aussie dollar. I think that's it for now. I want to see gold as well because that's um, a bit of a point of interest. I'm going to sip the coffee. Yeah, I got the confirmation. It was about five or so o'clock, and I didn't, I didn't really have enough time to um put out another video because I had done that video with Connor in the afternoon, and I was a little rushed doing other things. So I did. I'm I'm flying out on Sunday night. So if I have any individuals in China that watch this, I'll be in Beijing. Uh, I don't know. I think I stay at a hotel for a couple nights because I have to get like a medical screening done and um, a SIM card, Chinese SIM card. It'll work in this phone and a bank account. So that area where like the village is, I think it's Dabao or Dabo. That's where I'll be. So if I have any Chinese fans, probably not, but um, I'd like to meet you. You can trade in China as well. I have a VPN, so I still will be trading. So if I don't post like for a week, for example, on YouTube, follow me um, on Twitter and on Instagram. The, the, the stuff's in the description section, but it's just just search for Scott Andrews on Twitter and on, and you'll see me. The display picture that I have for, or the profile picture I have for YouTube and Facebook is the same for everything. So including LinkedIn as well. I share on LinkedIn, so I like LinkedIn as a platform that's, well, it's, it's slightly more, well, it's not really more professional, it's just as bad really, get some crazy signal providers and things going on. So yeah, that's happening. <sighs> Alright, so we're still sort of back to where we started with gold, so I'm going to close that down. Alright, that's it guys, thank you for watching. PanCAD is a potential sell, uh, we'll see you later in today's uh, London session. If it wants to show weakness, then I'll potentially sell into that. Bye for now.